Hey there, so in this video I want to show you three different earth battery cells that I made, small, medium, and large. And as you get progressively larger with more metal in the unit, the amps go way up. By way up or high amp, I just mean as a percentage of a smaller cell. So I think it ended up being like 10 or 11 times more amps in the big one versus the shot glass style one. We'll start by dropping these into the dirt, taking volt and amp readings, and then I'll do the same for this and this. 0 0.79, 0 0.63, 0 0.631, 458, 235, 246. This one's mid-50s, 53, 49, 48, 540, 6-something. Did you see that? Look at it now. Must be charging up a little. Now we're at 536 and I saw 600 in there. All right, sweet. Well, let me put that off here. So this one is about four times the amps of that one. And this one is 10 times the amps of that one. So say you were using this for charging up something, make them like this and you could charge it 10 to 11 times faster. This particular item can be run on just two earth batteries the size of shot glasses. But this with the extra amps you could probably run 10 or 20 of those clocks on this. You just go from the copper to the aluminum to put it in series and then just tap off of here for negative and the copper for positive and go to whatever you want to run. Okay, there you go. Hope you can see this okay. Wow, that's exactly 1.5. 1.499. Puts out the same voltage as these. Just any standard AA, AAA, C or D dry cell battery. Can't remember exactly how to set this thing, but that's pretty cool. Water actually works about the same, but the problem is that none of the pieces have any stability now and they could easily fall over and just kind of float sideways. This one's a previous vid I did with a plastic ice cube tray, a 16 cell system. You just hook them in series, and this one would be good for charging 5 volt electronics. And this one is a 2 tray water battery. The original one I did got it up to 14 volts, so high enough to charge a 12 volt system. Alright, so just to wrap it up. Here's a couple of final shots of some previous videos I did with the Juice Style homemade batteries. If you're interested in those, I'll drop the links in the description section below. But those were made with things like vinegar, lemon juice, lime juice, and they can run the LEDs, the buzzers, and a lot of different things with the LCD screens.